Good morning, everyone. It is uh, 4.42 and 43 in the morning right now. So last night, I was pretty inspired to uh, go for a big run. I didn't actually run last night, but um, at my work, they were doing this event and they were posting like the results. It was like some Detroit 5K, 10K marathon. I don't know. There were some races going on and I was like, you know what? That would be kind of cool. I don't know. Just like the idea of like finishing like a challenge was kind of cool. And I looked into it a little bit through that race and they were like, oh, like we'll see you guys again next year. And I was like, all right, like I don't want to wait a whole year to like do something like that. I am not a runner at all. So I was kind of look, thinking about and looking at like local races. And for context here, it is the, it's like middle of October. It's October 18th right now. Um, and a month from now, there's this thing called the Turkey Trot. It's kind of a, there's a Detroit Thanksgiving Day Parade. And it's kind of a somewhat famous thing. And then before the parade, there's this run. So I was like, you know what? Like, I'm going to do it. Like, I want to do this. It took about like three minutes to decide this. Kind of something that like I always talked about doing and like my dad and I always talked about doing. That was kind of like the same idea like with the book. Like I talked about doing something but like never did it. So I was like, you know, like I'm gonna finish this thing. I'm gonna actually do this thing I started talking about. So anyways, like we talked about this for like, like literally like 10 years. Like every Thanksgiving we were like, oh, like we're gonna run that race one day. And then, you know, just never did. But last night I was like, you know what? Yeah, like we're gonna do it. I'm gonna run and he's gonna do it with me. Basically, uh, the like highest race you can do that day is a 10k, which is 6.2 miles, and it's not. I don't think it's that bad, and I mean it doesn't seem that bad in terms of like running. But I am not a runner at all. I literally cannot remember the last time I ran a mile on the treadmill or on a track or literally anywhere. Now I work out all the time, but only really weightlifting. And then, like, maybe some, like, low, slow cardio, like, on, like, the Stairmaster or something. But no, no running. Absolutely not. So, this is going to be interesting. We have about five weeks to train. Um, so, i got to become a runner in five weeks, which is kind of weird. I never imagined myself as a runner. What if, I, what if I turn into, like, a runner guy that, like, talks about running all the time? That, like, I'd stop lifting weights. I don't really know how to train or what to do specifically. Um, but this video is just going to sort of track the progress of that. But we're going to run a 10K. That's that's what's going to happen. We're going to run 6.2 miles. And we have a month to train. So it's the 18th. Got about five weeks. Today is going to be the first day of training. I will see you guys at the gym. All right. So we're at the gym here. I just finished a full uh, back day workout. Um, I want to set a baseline for this. So the last time I ran a 5K was 12 years ago. I'm sorry, 10 years ago when I was 12. I ran one for like part of the physical fitness test of my uh, junior black belt when I was in karate. So like that was the last time I ever ran. My time then was like 31 minutes. So about 10 minutes a mile. The class I signed up for was like, uh, they, they, they let you go at different paces. My pace was between 10 and 11 and a half minutes a mile i think it's pretty reasonable my goal here for this six miles or 6.2 is under an hour that's our goal to shoot for i think that's like sort of on pace with what i've done before four or 5k for the most part i don't do like any cardio like i have some cardiovascular like strength just from lifting and like um doing some very low and slow cardio like stairs and stuff but for the most part not much cardio we're gonna start my kind of plan for this five weeks. My plan for this is to start kind of low. I don't wanna like immediately just kill myself right off the bat. We're gonna start at two miles, try to set a decent pace of like 10 minutes a mile. We're gonna start there and just try to knock it off. Two miles today, first day, and then we're gonna slowly just level it up from there. This is post first run. We were shooting for around the tens. Um, I started off doing a pace of 10, but then it got a little uh, difficult, so. I uh, upped it to 12, and then near the end of the run, I kind of like sped it up a little bit. Two miles, 22 minutes. Um, I guess not terrible for the first time. One thing I um, don't think I mentioned, um, even on the channel at all, in April, I had a, it was like actually late April, early May, so about whatever, like a couple months ago, I had a really bad leg injury. I fractured my, I had a tibial fracture, so I fractured my tibia, a few other like areas. I would say like I haven't done full like leg strength in a little while. It took me 
a couple months to recover from that. So I think I'm back to like where I was before, but I'm definitely not at like peak leg. First run was pretty decent. We got relatively close to our goal, five weeks to go. What is up guys, it is day two of kind of training. Let's talk about soreness. Honestly, not too sore after the two miles yesterday. A little tight, but a little sore, but like not that bad. We hit legs today. It is like five something in the morning at edge. We're just finishing up our lift. Right now, I'm just doing some like low, like slow cardio, just to like kind of like keep things moving, keep my cardio up. I think kind of my plan for this, have one day where I like try to do the run, try to do like the longer miles. Like yesterday it was two miles. I'm gonna have to increase it probably by a half a mile each time. I'll have like a day I run, the next day I'll probably like loosen up, stretch more, uh, do this, like like still kind of cardio, but like just slower. Just keep moving. And then the third day I'll probably just not run at all. It was still relatively easy to hit legs today. It wasn't like crazy hard. That's gonna be interesting fitting all my other workouts in here. But I'm thinking I'm gonna do like three days, kind of like a little three day cycle-ish thing. But I'd like to try to actually go for the distance at least twice a week. I think that's kind of like what I'm shooting for here. See you on the next one. Good morning, everybody. Wow, I look rough today. Ugh. Um, today is day four since we signed up. We had the first day of running, the second day of like the slow cardio. Third day, I just took a rest. I still worked out, but I didn't, I did like, I think I did back and buys, whatever, something like that. I'm out of town right now. That is Grand Rapids, Michigan behind me. I'm out of town for my second job. So I'm just working here for the weekend, trying to get some extra money, but that doesn't mean we're not going to train. I've got a plan of fitness membership as well. So we're going to do that. Got a little bit of a late start today. I am a like firm, firm, firm believer in the morning routine. Huge like morning gym guy. You wake up, you go to the gym, then you start your day. You just feel amazing. And like, it just sets you up for success. I was kind of tossing and turning all night. Didn't end up getting here. It's like 7.30, 8 o'clock now. So um, would have liked a little bit of an earlier start, but it's okay. We can still recover and have a successful day. Anyways, it is Friday. It is my arm day. So I'm going to go do that. And then today's goal is 2.5. If I remember correctly from the last time that I uh, like did cardio, is that the first couple times you do it, your cardiovascular like strength like really goes up. I might have to go for the distance more than like once every four days. I might have to try and cut it down every other day. I'm not really sure, but you know, we are up against the clock here. So that's kind of something I'm thinking about. All right guys, so I am gassed right now. That one definitely hit me a lot harder than the other one. We did a lot better. My first goal here is the distance. I want to get to the six miles first. Then our second goal is the time. In this race, we were on track for that. Did a lot better. 2.5. I didn't uh, get a chance to record it in time, but I took a picture. 25 minutes, 2.5 miles. So that gives us um, 10 minutes a mile, which is way better than our 11.5 pace last time. Look at how red my legs are. They're like beet red. Yeah, so next goal is uh, three miles or a 5K. Alrighty guys, so it is day three of training for the distance, distance run. We're back in Detroit, back at Edge. It's like 5.45 in the morning. Today was supposed to be three miles, but I think we're gonna bump it to 3.1 because that is a 5K. And this will be the first time running a 5K since I was like 12 years old. Shooting between 30 minutes and like 35 minutes. Uh, last time my time was like 31 minutes, I think, 32, something like that. It's October 25th, so we have about a month exactly until the race. So if we can get a 5K halfway, still have a month to train, that's pretty good. Oh my God. Guys, I'm gassed. We just finished. It feels like my lungs can't hold enough air. Let's see how we did. We got 31 minutes and 22 seconds, 3.10 miles, uh, 5K. Average pace, 10.7, 10.07. That really took my cardio through a, through a lot. Halfway there, we're back to uh, where we were at one point. So this is exciting because everything, everything after this point will all be PRs. First of all things I've never done. So I hope you guys see you in the next one. Alrighty lads, this is day four of going for the distance. I haven't really done much cardio in between like I said I was going to. I mean, I still keep active still lifting every day but it's not like not like slow cardio as far as soreness goes not really that sore definitely like been more sore over like just regular leg days but today it's 3.5 let's get after it one of the one thing i don't know if i talked about this yet or not but i've been doing all of this in like perfect conditions this is not what's going to happen on race day uh, race day it's probably going to be cold it's michigan at the end of november so it could literally be anything but probably cold there might be snow and also like the way that i'm running 
on a treadmill, you're just staying in place. You're not like propelling yourself forward. So I think that once I actually run outside, it's gonna be a lot more calf work, which um, my calves aren't exactly like crazy strong. So I would expect that to like change up a little bit. It's gonna be a lot harder for sure. For now, this is a controlled environment where I can test my times and everything, try to keep a good pace. We're gonna succeed on the treadmill for now and then we'll probably move it to outside after that. But I definitely don't want race day to be the first time I'm outside running like this. Damn, I feel sick. 39 minutes, 3.5, average pace 11, a little bit more. Fuck, I gotta sit down. That was hard. It's starting to get really hard. Uh, I think it's probably has something to do with the lack of food in my system. It's it's like 4 p.m., 5 p.m. And I literally haven't eaten all day. But like, I don't eat before my workouts when I work out in the morning, but I still have like, you know, usually like food from the night before, like time in my system. So 11 minutes and 19 seconds was the pace. I've been kind of like varying between 10 minutes and 12 minutes. So my pace was a little lower, but that was the farthest we've ever been. So like, this is the farthest I've ever ran in my life. So that's kind of cool, we hit a PR. Wow. I'm gonna go home and eat, and then uh, four miles next time. So today is a uh, four mile day. I haven't really been feeling great, like physically and emotionally the last couple days. Just kind of been like, just kind of down. I haven't been feeling so great, like health-wise. But we're gonna try to work up a good sweat today sweat out all those toxins. That's why we got the hoodie on. Gonna do a little calm walk beforehand, uh, get things warmed up. We hit about 45 minutes of back uh, before this. And then um, just kind of, I don't know, today's kind of a bleh workout, but we'll, we'll see what we can do to change that. But yeah, a little, a calm little walk, and then we're getting into our four miles. Today's results, average pace 11 and a half minutes, uh, four miles, 45 minutes. I have a buddy that uh, runs like four to five miles consistently. And he said that that's where it starts to get tough. It's like four to five miles, but I feel good. For some reason, my like shoulder slash neck area, like right here, it's like cramping, but um, oh well, it's probably nothing. So that's one of the things that uh, I don't like about cardio. I just feel like I'm getting nowhere, like calorie wise. That run, 45 minutes of cardio, I burned uh, 476 calories. I can eat that in 30 seconds. Like, it's just like, oh, 30 seconds, all your work goes away, you know? But anyways, we'll be back next time, 4.5. I was thinking about this on the ride home. Part of the reason why I wanted to do this and why I wanted to complete this run was, I guess, two reasons. Uh, one, it's just kind of something I've always talked about doing, wanted to do. It was one of those things that like my dad and I were like, oh, like we'll do this one day, you know, kind of thing, but like never happens. I feel like that's not the type of person I want to be. Like, I don't want to be that guy that just says like, oh, I'm going to do this. I'm going to do that, but never does it, you know? That was another reason why I published my book recently was because I said I was going to do it. I started it a long time ago and I was like, oh yeah, I'm going to do this. I'm going to do this. And I got like all hyped up, all excited, but just didn't follow through with it. I've kind of had this like urge to like kind of tie up some loose ends or like do things that I said I was going to do. Not following up on your promises, not following up on the things you do. That's not the type of man I want to be. That's not the spirit I want to embody. And I guess another reason too is like that draws me to this run and it's not even like, it's a, just a 10K. Like it's not, yeah, it's it's a good amount of distance, but like for runners, absolutely not. Like, I mean, there's people out there that run marathons, obviously a 10K is nothing, but it's just like the challenge, like doing things new and overcoming this. Like I want to do this. Like I don't really care about running, but I want to complete this because I said I will. And like, that was my goal and I want to achieve it. And I've kind of had this like, I don't know, today today's kind of weird. Last couple days have been weird. And in my book, I wrote about this topic. I called it compounding success. If you if you have something like working out, when you go to work out, that should be your escape, or at least it is for me. Like, so, you know, like your escape can be walking, swimming, you know, running with your dog, whatever it is. I feel like people should have something to go back to, like something to clear their head, like at the gym. I was just tripping about other things. I've been stressing about work, personal finances, other things. And when you're not, I feel like when you're not successful in one area of life, it's hard to be successful in another area. Like right now, it's hard to focus on my body in this run and competing in this aspect because I'm in my head, I'm tripping about work, about finances, about my business. Like I want to be a great person. I want to be a good person and I want to achieve these goals that I've set out for myself. And then after those are achieved, I want to make new ones. I feel like success in the multiple areas of our lives, for me, that's usually like business, personal finance, and health. It's hard to be successful in one area if you're not also trying hard in the other area. If you are, uh, maybe you have a business 
that you run. It's hard to run your business if you don't take care of your body. If I, you know, I'm not taking care of my body or if I'm not taking care of my mind, like it's hard for me to follow through on the other areas of my life. It's hard for me to save money and work hard in my career and in my business if I'm not taking care of myself and my body and my health. What I'm trying to say is like, if you had something that's like on your mind and that's holding you back, just face it, just get it out of the way, you know, face that demon, face those demons. Maybe it's like a certain habit, like alcohol or drugs or whatever it is that like, you know, you shouldn't be doing. And I'm not talking about like casually using like addiction, like things like that, or just something that you know is holding you back. I feel like facing those things like head on, even though it's extremely uncomfortable, you grow, we grow from the comfort. And I've personally noticed that I am not as good as I used to be under stress today and yesterday and stuff. I was very stressed about just like work related things. So in order to be massively successful, I wouldn't, I mean, I'm not massively successful, but I would assume you have to deal with extremely high level problems. You have to deal with a lot of stress, uh, running a company, things like that. Like I can imagine that's no walk in the park. And I can imagine that you have to deal with a ton of stress. So in order to be the person I wanna be, I'm gonna have to learn how to manage stress better. And I think that really just boils down to a lack of preparation. Like if you're not prepared for the problem, if you're not prepared for what you're doing, then of course you're freaking out. Of course you have anxiety because there's, you're just not prepared. You're not ready. It's like, imagine giving a speech to a room full of people. If you know what you're going to say, and if you're knowledgeable about the topic, you can speak fluently about it. There are things I can talk people's ear off about, and I'm sure you guys can as well. But if you're not prepared to give this speech or not knowledgeable on the topic, you don't have much to say. You're not prepared. So you you get nervous, you get stressed out. I don't really know where I'm going with this whole tangent, but I guess I guess I would just wanna wrap this portion up with just saying like, be prepared, be prepared for your day, prepare for the things you wanna do. If you got demons, face them. 4.5 next. Hey lads, we're, uh, we're traveling again, uh, back in Grand Rapids, we're at Planet Fitness. I wanted to, if I can get this treadmill working, we're gonna talk about like something that's on my, been on my mind a little bit. I have noticed that I am not confident. I don't know, I'm hoping maybe you guys can take something from this, but it's kind of weird because like I used to be, and there have been times when like, it's gone up and down. That's definitely something that like I used to be, like I used to have confidence, I used to be believe in the things that I was doing and like who I was. It's something that's earned, it's like fulfillment. If you are not doing those things that you care about and those things that you actually believe in, and if you haven't earned it, then you shouldn't be confident, you shouldn't feel good about yourself. And I guess that sort of comes from following through on the things that you say you're gonna do. You know, if you say you're gonna go to the gym, go to the gym. If you say you're gonna get up, get up. If you say you're gonna do a certain thing, then going to do a certain thing. And I think I think that's where it kind of lacks for me sometimes, is like following through on the things that you say to yourself. Confidence and self-fulfillment is very necessary, I think. You know, you just you just sort of vibrate at a different level when you have that. And that's like, you know, one of the things that you really, in my opinion, need and is like really good and something I've personally struggled with in like recent times. That's one of my things recently. I'm trying to do things and follow through on things that I say because that will provide confidence. Also knowledge will provide that as well, like knowledge about your skill, confidence within your skills. So that's just a food for thought. Uh, anyways, we're gonna kind of done warming up now, so we're gonna do 4.5. All right, um, five point, uh, whoa, no, 4.5 at 51 and a quarter. So what I was saying, things like that, that's how you run confidence. You have to earn this shit. And I think that's something that I haven't earned lately and I just kind of felt like shit because of it. You know, you have to prove these things to yourself. You have to prove to yourself who you are every single day. And that's something I haven't been doing and I just haven't been feeling good because of it. I think that's one of the reasons why I'm doing this whole race. It's just to prove to myself that I can. Uh, uh, today is five miles. Uh, so pretty exciting. Just to kind of give you like a time frame here. So I started this a couple weeks ago. It is November 8th right now. And I think Thanksgiving's on like, it's on the last Thursday. It's like the 27th or 28th or something. So I still have a good solid like 20 days to prep for this. And we're at five miles today. Today's the big, the big 5-0. My schedule has either been like my biggest advantage in life or my biggest downfall. That's something I want to work on. I want to work on be, being better than that. So I got to be accountable for that. But anyways, five miles today. We're going to go to Planet Fitness today because I'm not going to lift. I'm just going to do uh, cardio. There's no point driving all the way to edge. It's like it's like five or six miles away. So it's like it's like just far enough that it's kind of annoying to drive through. Um, and Planet's only like three miles away. So we're just going to go to Planet. I don't need to go there just to go on the treadmill. 
and there's nothing special. But this is the gym that I like started working out at when I started working out. And I've been trying to be more cost efficient lately, just with the things I spend money on and stuff like that. But my health, that is one thing I will spend money on. Like having multiple gym memberships to some people probably seems like super crazy. But to me, like those one, two, three days a month that I use like my planet membership when I'm like out of town or whatever, it's just worth it to me. I would rather pay the money than go like two days without working out. Um, so I wasn't able to get a uh, picture of the time. It was a little uh, funky. I didn't know how to work the treadmill. I've never used that one before. But um, <clears throat> five miles, it was like 57 minutes. So we're at just under 12 minute pace. So basically we're at our 60 minutes, but we got to add another 1.2 miles. So not bad, you know, just, I mean, we're slowly getting up there. I never would have thought I've been able to run f five miles. And when I got to the 5K part, I was like, oh wow, like that was easy. And I remember like a 5K used to be like insane for me. Slowly progressing. I like how I kind of chopped this up, uh, having like a half mile extension every couple days. It's enough that it like pushes me to my cardiovascular limits, but it's also like attainable. Consistency beats uh, hard work. So see you at 5.5. All right, we're back at edge. Uh, this is cool because today's 5.5. That means not today, but the next day, we will be running the full 6.2. I'm just gonna up it to 6.2 instead of six. Today's the 13th, I think. I think it's on the 27th. I think that's when the race is, maybe 28th, something like that. Got about another 13, 14 days, so about two weeks. We gotta get it to the six miles, and then we gotta do it outside, which is gonna be, I think it's gonna be pretty tough. It's starting to get cold in Michigan, so that's gonna play an effect, but whatever it is, we gotta work with it. That one was pretty freaking good, guys. We got 5.5 miles in. An hour and three minutes. Pace, 11 and a half. So, we gotta add another 0.7 onto that, but in the same time, but that was, that one was pretty good. I was definitely cramping up, like right here. I'm drinking a tiny bit of water. I know it's not like really great while you run, but the big 6.2 is next time. Alrighty, boys, it is the big 6.2 today. And look at this. We have our first snowfall in Michigan. The weather on the day of the race is actually looking like pretty decent between 30 and 40 degrees, but this is what we're gonna be running in. By that, I meant on race day we're running in this. Today we're running inside. My goal, we have a week. We still, we're like, this is coming up. This race is coming up fast. Uh, we have a week. I, my goal here is the 6.2 in 70 minutes. And our race goal is 60 minutes. Um, but that's, 70 minutes is still kind of like, kind of short. That's uh, I'm gonna have to keep my pace up. It's kind of a lot. Uh, it might be more like 75, but uh, we'll see. And uh, let's get her done. I just thought of this too. Um, so we got about a week. We're definitely gonna need to up the number of times that we're running. I think I'm gonna try to run. I don't know, maybe not every day, but like as close to every day as I can, because uh, we need a, uh, well, I think we need to do that to get to school. We did it, 10K. Oh my God, 11.21 seconds. Oh, we got 70 minutes exactly. Oh my God, how long is it? It's so weird, like, you just feel like that. Your lungs are just stuffed and you can't, like, you just can't get any air in there. It's weird. I probably should be sitting down though. Really good first milestone. Now we gotta get that time there. And then we'll be good. Alrighty guys, today is a big day for running. Last time we, I can't even see where I'm going. Last time we did the 10K, but it was on a treadmill. And we got 70 minutes, might've been like 71, I don't remember. But today we're doing some big things. I'm gonna up the distance a little bit to 6.5 miles and we're outside. I don't know if you guys can tell, it's like pitch black out here, but we're on a track. I was looking for this bench over here, but I couldn't see it because it was so dark. I'm on a track. I'm actually at my high school. This is where I graduated from. Uh, it's just a local, the only local track I really know of. Anyways, it's freezing cold out here. My hands are shaking. It's like 22 degrees. There's nobody out here. It's Sunday night, pitch black, you know, but this is what brings success is putting in the work when you don't want to sometimes, when it's cold, when it's hard, when it's difficult, but that's what's really gonna bring, you know, success for me, for you, for everybody, is putting in that work behind the scenes. Uh, you don't see all the work that people put in behind the scenes, but you see them, them winning, you see the, the, the trophy, you see the successes, the money, the fame. 
but that all comes from the work behind the scenes like this. So I have to switch hands because I'm so cold. This is this brings up a kind of a weird thing. I don't I don't really know how to dress. I don't really run outside, so uh, this is gonna be interesting. Uh, I, I don't know if I overdressed or underdressed, but I guess we'll see. <sighs> Anyways, I'm gonna get to it. We gotta get to that 60 minute mark. Uh, so let's get after it. So we did <coughs> we did the 6.2 and then the 6.5, but I kind of just speed walked the 6.5. Um, but 6.2 time, which is the one that we're, we're we, we care about. Side note though, it's kind of it's kind of nice out here. Like yeah, it's cold. But, you know, there's nobody out here. I get to look at the stars. There's a type of quiet that only the winter provides because of, I mean, a lot of, like, you know, you know, the snow muffles all the sounds, but it's just very peaceful. And that's what it is out here. It's peaceful. The stars are out. It's cool to see, you know, you're just alone with your thoughts for better or for worse. We got a 108, almost a 109 for the 10K, which, not going to lie, guys, I'm getting kind of nervous because, like, we still have a, we still have, like, nine minutes to shave off. We're coming in at about a, an 11, uh, 0.07 or 11, 11 minutes and seven second mile pace, which is, I mean, it's better and we're, we're heading in the right direction, but we do not have a lot of time. It's Sunday night, Thanksgiving. The race is on Thursday. So we really only have three more sessions, training sessions, three more days to prepare for this. I don't know if maybe I should double up and, you know, run at night or, or run in the morning and at night. I don't really know. We gotta shave three minutes each next time we run. Three minutes a day, which is a lot. Basically like over a minute off of each mile, which is nuts actually. Can't give up now. I'm a little, I'm a little worried, but we're gonna try our best and whatever happens, happens, I guess. Good morning, boys. Uh, it is Tuesday, two days until race day. So we probably got two runs and then race, including today. We gotta shave off nine minutes, which is a lot. That's a lot of time. What I'm gonna try to do today is uh, kind of shave off from the beginning because I start off slower when I'm warming up and then I get a little faster as I run, uh, like pace-wise. So that's the plan. We're gonna try to shave off a minute from my first couple miles and take it from there. I didn't end up running yesterday. I did just my normal workout, chest, and then I did some, some like slower cardio. I did like 90 flights of stairs. So it was like, you know, kept my heart rate up and everything, but it wasn't like, it wasn't like this. But uh, we got here extra early today, so I'm happy about that. I, I couldn't sleep last night very well, so we got here at like 2.30 in the morning. So I woke up and I was like, all right, well, I'm not going back to sleep. Might as well go to the gym. Anyways, uh, it's like 3.30 now. Finished my normal back workout. So uh, time to time to get this 10K in. Let's go. Alrighty, guys. Oh, 10K in 1.6 or one, one hour and six minutes, almost one hour seven. I definitely put in some work on that average pace. Like, I probably shaved about 20-ish seconds off. Maybe more like 30. Yeah, probably about 20, 22 maybe, I don't remember. Um, but still, I still got seven seconds to shave, shave or seven minutes to shave off. It's definitely, it's actually, I think it's actually harder to run on the treadmill because it's so hot in here. You know, the cold air outside helps to keep you cool, which I actually thought it would be the opposite. I thought the cold air would hurt on your lungs. We probably got one more training session and then it's go time. Hey guys, it's a great, great, great day. We're back at the track. Um, it's actually bright out this time. Feeling good, I'm excited. Tomorrow is race day. So this is the last run before the race. We're gonna get as close to an hour as we can and an hour's our goal, guys. Come on, we gotta hit it. I just got back from uh, lunch slash dinner with uh, one of my friends who's also going to be my real estate agent. Great guy, we talked business, I'm excited. I'm ready, there's a lot of cool things to come. But for now, let's get this goal. <sighs> so we're done with our last day of training, guys. It was a really good day. We ran some really good times. I actually think the cold air helped me out a lot. We started off a lot stronger and pretty much just tried to shave off as much as we could on each mile consistently. I was kind of hovering around a 10 minute-ish pace. We ended it off at one hour, one minute and 57 seconds. So we got two more minutes to shave off six miles in an hour isn't like 
we're like basically at that it's just that last point two that we gotta that we gotta shave off so that means you know we gotta we gotta have like at least like a 950 pace well there's no more training tomorrow's the day we gotta pull it out tomorrow i don't know how but we're gonna get down under that hour see you guys on race day here we are guys race day um we're downtown right like in the center this is uh the part of the 10 to 13 group today's the day we're gonna make it happen <sighs> all right we're about one and a half miles in um at about 15 minutes slightly under 10 10 minutes mile pace we gotta get to about 940 average so i guess i'll check in with you guys maybe at 5k Alrighty. We're at three miles. We just clocked in at 27 minutes total, which is like lower half of nines for pace. We started pretty strong and I'm feeling good, but I'm so fucking tired. But I made a promise to myself. And I don't care what it takes. If I'm crying, bleeding, screaming, fucking throwing up, we're making it across that finish line in an hour. I love you guys. Check in soon. We just clocked in at five miles at 47 minutes. Our pace, our average pace is like nine and a half minutes. Um, but it's climbing. So we really gotta pull it out of this next mile and a half, or mile and a quarter. Um, she gets the finish. We did it! Woo! Oh my god. So our time, I don't know how good you guys can hear me because of the music, but our time was 59 minutes. We pulled it out. We made it happy. We had a goal. We, we accomplished it, boys. We did it. We did it, boys. We got a medal for the 40th anniversary of Turkey Trot. All right, so I kind of want to go over our time a little bit. I think this is cool, the app that I have. Um, I'll throw it up here uh, to look at our miles. We started off really good at like an eight and a half mile pace for the first mile. That helped us get ahead. Uh, we started strong, but you know, it's weird running a race like this because you have to, you really do have to pace yourself. Like you can't just sprint because then you're gonna be tired for, you know, and then you can't, like you have to, you have to understand like, I don't want to say like your limits, but kind of like, you know, you just have to, you have to manage your energy, you manage your cardiovascular strength. There's a train going on above me. But um, we actually ran a little bit more than a 10K. It was uh, six point. We, had, we, we ran an extra 0.05, so you know, not like a lot or anything, but that was just because of you know dodging and weaving in and out of people. Um, <coughs> uh, that gained us a little bit of extra distance, but I'm proud we did good. We only had one mile over 10 minute pace. Um, which I think that's pretty good. We knocked a whole 30 seconds off of our times each mile since last night. So we really, we really showed up. I'm happy. It was, it was tough, but we did it. Oh, so we're back home now, guys. It feels good. We accomplished our goal. We finished it off. And I guess this kind of just goes to show you, like, at first, it didn't really seem realistic. It didn't seem manageable. I had literally, like, I don't run. I don't at all and running was always something I, like I hated and I didn't enjoy it but slowly every day I just consistently got a little bit better and a little bit better even in this last week like I shaved off a lot on my time just from consistently getting better and I guess the lesson I can kind of take from this is like in a day in a week it doesn't seem like you're really making that much progress but when you look back you're like wow like you made a ton of progress it's just really cool it feels good to you know, defeat a new challenge makes me feel good and i'm excited i'm excited to see uh where things go from here today's a great day it's thanksgiving so i'm gonna take the rest of the day off I'm gonna hang out with family eat as much as i can drink a ton of wine and just enjoy the day and then tomorrow it's time to get back at it on some other things i gotta work on probably gonna just continue to work on finishing up the sand rail i think so that we can get that project moving more i've been trying to do a, more of finishing things up before I start new things, 
but I think I'm really liking this running thing. I still want to, you know, work out and lift weights and that's still going to be sort of the main things that I do in the gym. You can see myself, you know, I, I enjoy the new challenge. It's something new and I like that. I like the new challenge. So next up, half marathon. I don't know when, probably within the next couple months, that's going to be the next goal. Next physical fitness goal, half marathon. Thank you guys for following along on this journey. Hope you all have a great and amazing day. I really appreciate all of you and I'll see you in the next one.